Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the channel. I'm Brian. Today is a very special Friday pour. It is a collaboration pour for Earth Day. I want to thank Nate Bright for asking me to be a part of this. Today I'm doing my intro here in East Boston on the East Boston Harbor. You get a great view over there of the skyline. And of course, out here on the harbor itself. Just gorgeous. Got some ducks over there. It's very windy today. It's going to be about 65 degrees. It's already getting up in the 60s, so it's really great. Uh, today's got a great lineup of people today, so Nate uh, really pulled out uh, his A-game on asking people to uh, be a part of this collaboration. we got Sarah Mack, we got Garrett Brown, we got the Massey Boys, uh, myself, we also have uh, Gina DeLuca, Nate himself, uh, Mina Villegas, Karen Dershon, and Kathleen from Cause Creations. Uh, today I'm doing a beach skate pour on a uh, 18 by 18 board and I'm using resin instead of acrylic paints. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for tuning in. Let's get down on the board, I'll be right back. Okay, what I've got is an 18 by 18 inch Da Vinci board I got from Jerry's Autorama. So I am doing a beach scape with resin. So what I wanna do first and foremost is this video is gonna be done in pieces because the resin's gonna need time to set up for different layers. But first what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of get an outline of my beach that I'm gonna make <clears throat> and I'm gonna paint the board so that it's got some color to it. So I kind of want an, an angle for my beach. So kind of kind of like this maybe. That would work. And so then I'm just gonna just paint this on. Now I've taped the sides with painter's tape. And this doesn't need to be an exact science. Um, I just kind of did the, the wave like that. And what I'll do is paint the whole beach and then I am going to be mixing resin and I'm going to throw sand in the resin first and then I'll put the sand down here on the beach. Now I've got some light and dark colored sand I got from Michaels and that's going to help get that little beachy feel. The sand was not expensive. It's like six bucks, I think. Just want to give the the <clears throat> sand and resin something to cover instead of this bare board. Fix the hard edges here. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Now I have taken some resin and I mixed it up real good and I threw a lot of sand in. Now I'm gonna put this mixture here where I've got the painted portion. Give this a beachy look. And I'm gonna come back in here and use my hands to move this around. Great. Great. 
The sand really makes things sticky. What I'm gonna do is take my heat gun and make sure I don't have any air bubbles. All right. Okay, so now I have added some sand, more resin, and I added a drip of burnt umber paint and a drip of white paint because I want to layer a darker layer of sand here. So if you think about the beach, it's kind of like a white sand and when it gets wet, it gets darker. So I have added that. I've added some more white sand to kind of lighten this up as well. So now what I would like to do is pour a little layer here. going to bring this into the dark or into the light excuse me there we go get that effect of the darker coming into the lighter Now I'm going to mix up another batch with just the white and I'm going to layer that there and then that's going to be it for the sand. So I've got the next batch. This is the last bit of sand. So I'm going to put it here and it's going to travel into the darker. All right, that's going to do it for this step. We're going to leave this be and come back for it tomorrow. We're going to start layering in the water. Okay, guys, I'm back. I am going to now, so you can see that I've put down the sand. I am now going to use the color Thalo Blue at the top. I'm going to use, or excuse me, I'm going to use um, Payne's Gray at the top. Thalo blue in the middle and I've custom mixed an aqua green to go down here that's going to kind of come into the uh, beach. I am tinting my resin with just a little bit of paint. So I've been watching some videos and I've been talking to my good friend Kelly Stoll who works a lot with resin and they are telling me do not use more than 10% of paint in the resin. Because if you add more than 10%, that could start to mess with the dry time. So I've got my resin here, I've added my Payne's Gray, and I'm just mixing, 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 mixing. This is gonna be really dark. 
But I'm gonna mix all the other uh, colors together in this as well. So it's gonna be okay. That's gonna be that color. Methalo blue. Just add a little bit of squeeze there. It's Amsterdam, I'm using Thalo blue. Creative Inspirations is my Payne's Gray. It's really important with resin that you make sure you scrape the sides of your cup when you mix part A and part B. Scrape your stick because you want to make sure all of the resin is getting mixed. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good color. So my turquoise green is a mix of Amsterdam's turquoise green and Amsterdam titanium white. Because I want to get that green color, but I don't want it to be too green. If you think about like Cancun, Aruba, all those beautiful islands to go visit when you fly in. For those of you who've been have flown in there, um, you see that green water. It just looks so beautiful. All right, got to work fast with this stuff, or it's going to start to set up. So I'm gonna pour here like that. Phthalo blue. green now I'm just gonna warm up the resin a little bit kind of pop those air bubbles a little bit just kind of blend them all in Get it all out of there. This is beautiful. Gonna pop the air bubbles.
Got the deep, it's really, really working. It's so cool. I'm gonna look and make sure I don't have any air bubbles, anything sticking up. Now that I've got the uh, water down, I'm gonna start adding a little white for waves. So what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of just clear resin, put the white down so it will all move together. Now my white is tinted with alcohol ink. That ink is going to help me get cells, get lacing in my waves so that it will look a little more natural. What I'm gonna do here is I am going to lay out some resin here. Put some white here right over top of it. heat gun to heat it up. And then when it's hot and warm, then I'm gonna push it upwards and back. Do this right here. Heat this up. Just a small one up here at the top, I think. gonna let this set up and then I'm gonna come back and I'll probably add a clear coat well I'm definitely gonna add another clear coat over top of the entire thing and I might add some more white in because the more resin and more stuff you put on in layers more 3d look it will give you so all right guys I'm gonna let this sit and come back in a few days to finish it up okay guys welcome back we are on the final touches of this. I am going to pour out 
some clear over top of this. I'm gonna make sure everything's clean of all dust particles. here just kind of evenly spread this over now I've added a little bit of the dark paints gray just do a little line here. I'm gonna do the same thing with some of the phthalo blue. some more of my wave white. guys i'm gonna leave that right there let it cure and hopefully come back tomorrow i'll put another clear coat right over top of that and then this piece is going to be completed i thought about putting like some shells or something down here but i don't think i'm gonna do that all right here is the dried result i love it um i debated on putting like some rocks or shells at the bottom but um, honestly, once I saw this dried and cured, I thought to myself, do I really want to take that chance? So I will probably do another one and I will start embellishing some different pieces. But for a first time try, I think this came out really well. So let me show you. 
You see that lacing that came from the alcohol ink. Just really makes those waves look almost like 3D. So cool. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for the video today. Here again is the uh, drive result. Sorry for the glare. I absolutely love it. It dried wonderful. There's no problems with the resin. Everything dried perfectly. Just came out fantastic. Loving the waves. I love the color of the ocean. Just wonderful. So beautiful. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on Sunday's video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.